thank you to everyone here today to celebrate this really special occasion with us. We couldn't be more excited about this. And I speak on behalf of the 12,000 people that work for Celebrity when I tell you how proud we all are. This is a big day for Celebrity. It is a day when we start building the Celebrity Edge, the most beautiful ship to ever enter the industry. I think we created something that will be unique in the cruise industry. There's a level of sophistication, which is really bar none. I think it'll be something that they've never seen before. Edge is going to be a paradigm shift in cruise design. I think it's going to make people think more about travel. Uh, there are no limits. Hi, everyone. I'm Nate Burkus, travel ambassador for Celebrity Edge, Celebrity's newest ship. I'm honored to introduce you to the latest breakthrough in modern luxury travel. Meet Celebrity Edge, a revolutionary new ship that's making history in the cruise industry. We're giving you an insider's look at what went into creating the most anticipated ship of the year. From its game-changing, outward-facing concept to an engineering feat that completely redefined the profile of a ship. This is Celebrity Edge. Celebrity Edge marks a turning point in the approach to ship design. They challenge their engineers, architects, and designers to completely reimagine the cruise experience, starting with the ship itself. This led to a new standard in the cruise industry. Celebrity Edge is the first ship to be fully designed using 3D technology. This gave Celebrity the ability to design the most refined ship at sea, before they even started building it. Modern shipbuilding uses what's referred to as the block system. Blocks, or individual sections of the ship, are created in the steel workshop. They're built upside down because it's easier for the welders to work with each plate of steel below them. Once complete, each block is flipped over and placed upright in sequence from bottom to top. The next milestone in the construction phase is the keel laying, where the individual modular components are first joined together. The staterooms are built and then maneuvered into place within the ship like a giant puzzle. Another industry-changing achievement is the shift from an exoskeleton to an endoskeleton. So this is a traditional construction. And here's the structure of the ship. And here's your balcony, which is essentially just glued on. We've replaced all of this structure with essentially nothing. This engineering feat allowed for the creation of the new edge staterooms with infinite veranda that are 23% larger than Celebrity's current veranda staterooms. To create the interiors of Edge's world-class accommodations, Celebrity brought internationally acclaimed designer Kelly Hoppin on board. Well, for me, where you sleep and wake up anywhere in the world, whether it's on land or at sea, is, you know, the most important part of your day. So we tried to look at textures and lighting and form and furniture and to basically do it as though we were doing a luxury home, but doing it in a cruise ship. The beauty of working with Celebrity is that the conversation was always free. Everyone was always open to listening to ideas. What I you know, wanted to achieve here was to try and create lots of different experiences in all the different suites and rooms so that every opportunity that you could on this cruise ship, there was a different experience. But no gimmicks, it was just more about the environment. I think in the Edge State Room, when you walk in, you're gonna know there's a difference. And for me, it was about coming up with a sort of light bulb moment of creating the studio so that you could have these kind of glass partition doors that opened where you could actually then have your terrace as part of your living space. Kelly was also at the forefront of designing spaces for a completely new suite experience debuting on Edge, the retreat. Every suite guest will enjoy a collection of luxurious spaces, including a private pool deck, an exclusive restaurant, and a lounge with a dedicated concierge. I've obviously looked at other cruise ships. I've seen the way that they've been designed. And what I wanted to do was to create something that was very now, that was luxury, like a Rolls Royce that would grow with time and wouldn't sort of suddenly in a year's time grow out of fashion. 
When you're on a cruise liner, you're living in a space, seeing the world. And I think, yes, the environment that you're in absolutely changes the way you feel. What we want is that they're always happy in the surroundings that they're in. The heart of Celebrity Edge will be the Grand Plaza, an open three-story venue inspired by the piazzas of Italy. The light installation alone will take workers more than 15,000 hours to build and will feature 3,280 feet of programmable LED lights that will change the ambience of the space from one moment to the next. The Grand Plaza was designed by world-renowned architects and designers Patrick Jouin and Sanjit Mancou. My grandparents, they were living not very far from the shipyard. That's where my grandfather was working. He was a welder and he welded some pieces of the Normandy. So the shipyard is very important for my family. My grandfather passed away, he was pretty young. They hired my grandmother so she can have a little bit of money. When the, we were asked to participate in a project like this, it was uh, very emotional for me. This kind of construction has always influenced me. I think what we love in each project is we're always trying to find uh, technique and material crafts people that allow us to do something we've never done before. When we were asked to work on the Grand Plaza, one of the big things was these incredibly talented people who can work with steel and work with steel in ways that become very plastic. So what we really wanted to do as well is how can we show the bones? Because the bones are so good that you don't need to put a, a covering over them. trying to do is, is something that is really comfortable, warm, intimate, and that has the ability to be bombastic at the same time. And we love uh, this Italian space, the piazza, with all the buildings around and where all the village is coming at night. For us, that's the vision. The chandelier is like a passive, beautiful sculpture that at night becomes this kind of beating heart. And every single time you look at it, you see it in a different way, and it reveals itself as a different thing. The bar itself, we know that functionally, the straight bar is much more efficient with the back bar and this thing, but they tend to be antisocial. When we make them round, what's great is you get to see the person across from you, and they get to see you, and then it becomes a place for gathering rather than just a bar. The bar is the ground, the chandelier is a cloud, and we hope there will be some lightning. <laughs> You hope people will feel the same thing that you felt when you were designing it. We hope that all their life they will remember this special moment and why they were here, why they were together. That's the, the joy for us is, is here. It's really a wondrous place when you walk through this, the, the shipyard. You'll start to maybe realize a little bit of all the different people who have touched this thing. A thousand hands that have touched it, caressed it. And this is one of the things that's incredible about the ship and also the capacity of celebrity to kind of put all these people together and try to funnel all this energy to make something that's gonna be spectacular. Celebrity Cruises is known for their leading edge culinary excellence, and Celebrity Edge will take that reputation to greater heights with a total of 29 distinctive restaurants, cafes, bars, and lounges. The overarching philosophy of culinary at Celebrity Cruises, I would say is finesse. Is that one word says so much. To achieve finesse in what we do, we focus on the details. That's really what a restaurant experience is. It's a collection of a thousand details. looking at our culinary and saying, how can we be more innovative on edge than we are on our previous ships? Typically, on the ship, you have one large main dining room. On edge, we've divided that footprint into four distinct restaurants. So there'll be a little bit of something for everybody. So the Tuscan restaurant is a modern Italian restaurant. And you really feel the fashion and the art that Italy is known for. What makes Tuscan restaurant so special? Fantastic Southern Italian food and amazing Southern Italian wines. 
Normandy is our French restaurant. It's really sophisticated, really romantic. We'll have the traditional flavors and ingredients, but presented in a completely new and refreshing way. So what's great about the Cosmopolitan restaurant is the entrance. You're walking through basically a wine cellar. Once you're inside, you feel like you're in one of these great cities like New York or LA. It's the type of place that you go if you feel like you want a night out on the town. And the menu is more upscale and refined with global influences. The Cypress restaurant is a Mediterranean inspired restaurant. It's about the history of celebrity being from the Mediterranean, being from Greece. It's the type of food that's really fresh and light. You feel fantastic after you eat it. Blue is our exclusive restaurant for our aqua class. The design really comes through with all these organic elements. Each dish is put together utilizing three distinct ingredients that complement one another. It's simple and we let the ingredients speak for themselves. Lumine is our exclusive restaurant for our sweet guests. It's at the top of the ship with beautiful views of the ocean. The presentations are just a little bit more elegant than you might find elsewhere, and it's something truly special for our sweet class guests. So especially dining at Celebrity Edge is really unique. Every specialty restaurant we have on Edge has never been seen before in our fleet. Fine Cut Steakhouse is the first time that we're really focused on delivering a really modern, sophisticated steakhouse. The signature dish will be a beautiful USDA prime dry-aged sirloin steak. It's absolutely delicious. The key element that runs through Raw on Five is the ocean. And the design of it is really about raw and refined. We have things like sashimi, hand-rolled sushi. It'll be primarily seafood-based, where the flavors are going to be bright, light, and explosive. Le Grand Bistro is basically our version of the classic French bistro. It will be open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. The design is absolutely beautiful. It's more contemporary. We're offering some really innovative versions of the classic French dishes. People don't always remember what you say or do, but they always remember how you make them feel. And our goal is that they leave saying, wow, I will never forget that experience. Edge will offer yet another breathtaking space unlike anything ever experienced before. Eden, a stunning window to the world, literally. It's designed with three decks completely wrapped in nearly 7,000 square feet of glass. The imaginative structure of Eden is the work of Scott Butler. The Fibonacci series is a fascinating pattern that mathematicians have sort of discovered has an incredible connection with nature. Given the fact that we're sculpting a space within the ship that really speaks to nature, we were interested in sort of understanding the proportions and the scale of things as we were designing it. Eden is a space that really is a defining space for the ship. It will have performance, it will have food and beverage, it'll have fantastic views of the ocean, it's a lounge. However, everything is raised to the level of an art. We didn't want to create a static room. We really wanted a space that was dynamic and that in order to experience it, you had to move through it. The interior designer for the space is Patricia Urquiola and Urquiola Studio, her office in Milan. She really understood the concept even before we began. The intent of the proposal was that I, I created a kind of land inside a ship that I love it from the beginning. Then I said, how can we propose a no conventional space, a no traditional space? The idea was to connect to things, plants, nature, the sea. The one thing was the, the natural and fantastic idea of Day and night, the circularity, the, the concept of time. I'm thinking how a space like this will be interesting in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening, uh, and how it could evolve. I thought was a very interesting and challenging question. During the daytime, the space will be a place of some serenity. The Eden Cafe will be open, go relax and read a book. Other people can go to the, to the space and just chill out. You can rest and look at the ocean, just enjoying the incredible view. Later in the afternoon, when everyone's coming back to the ship, there's a certain euphoria and a desire to sort of have a drink and be a little more social. The bar will be more active. Your garnishes are growing behind you in the library of plants. And so then to make it a performance, the bartenders can 
climb up ladders and retrieve that little sprig and then bring it down and flake it off into your drink. Then I arrived the evening. We were thinking that a, a kind of sinful ambience could be the, the right thing. At night, the entire space comes to life. The restaurant isn't a individual entity within the space. It's part of the experience. One of the things that we're looking at with Eden Restaurant is how to do things differently. For instance, one of the dishes that we're going to be featuring is a sea urchin. So we're taking some dry ice and we're shaving this over a microplane, and that descends over the dish. So it really creates a dish that's a little bit more magical and experiential. And guests have to leave saying, that was something that I've never experienced before that was absolutely outstanding and I want to come back. I think when people think of uh, traditional cruise entertainment, there's a very specific image that people have in mind. Exciting thing about this is uh, we've actually been invited, I think, to break so many of the rules. The way into the experience is going to be guided almost literally by hand by these characters that we're referring to as the Edenists. It's Eden come to life. In Eden, there is no separating one aspect of the experience from the other. So it's not just the Edenists, it's not just the chefs, but they're all creating this beautiful orchestrated dance together. I think is going to strike them in such a way that they're going to be coming back looking for more of it. People are going to come away from Eden saying there's nothing like it, on land or on a ship. Throughout the construction phase of the ship, to keep the progress on task, regular walkthroughs were held with the celebrity executive team, architects, engineers, and designers, who inspected every inch of the ship. It's always hard to tell when you get all the scaffolding here and it always looks smaller before they decorate it anyhow. But this is an amazing space. That's, that's the yeah. silicone. So really smooth, wow. really efficient. In January of 2018, Celebrity Edge completed an important milestone in modern shipbuilding, the float out. Far from being complete, but ready to test the overall structure on water, the float-out is the critical step when a ship first leaves dry land to float on its own. One of the best things about vacation is being able to relax and recharge. The spa on edge will offer the perfect oasis for the modern traveler. The inspiration for the spa was very similar to what we were trying to achieve with Edge, which is to create a greater connection to the outdoors. What we've tried to do is to create that complete sensory environment that is tailored just for the guest. The Sea Thermal Suite is a journey. It's a series of eight different experiences that allows the guests to choose how they would like to spend their time. The Hammam experience is a beautiful steam room with a gorgeous heated marble slab in the middle. The rain room is a sensory experience of different pressures of water, leaving them feeling relaxed and refreshed. The steam room is lovely. It has both health benefits and relaxation benefits. The salt room was created to introduce halotherapy, breathing in salt to open up the airways. The concept of float was having a moment in time with no responsibilities except to float. The infrared feature of this particular sauna actually penetrates deep inside the cells to release toxins that have been stored there for many years. We have an area with heated tile bed loungers that allows the guests to relax. The crystallarium was designed to bring the concept and the power of crystal healing. We know that our guests are gonna to come to the spa always looking for something different. We feel that we've created something for everyone. Another breathtaking space on Celebrity Edge will be the asymmetrical pool area on the resort deck. Featuring a 25-yard lap pool, the largest in Celebrity's fleet, 
The vision for the resort deck was the brilliant work of Tom Wright, internationally acclaimed architect. When I was 18, my father took me sailing for the first time, and I fell in love with the, uh, with the whole sport. And ever since then, I've loved everything to do with the sea. And it's always fantastic to be involved in ship design. You just get passionate about them, I guess. I really believe that the experience of going on edge will be very different and very exciting for passengers that are used to a normal cruise liner. The pool deck has some quite special features. The majority of cruise ships have the lounges all looking into the central pool. Right from the beginning, it was decided to terrace the seating to look out towards the port side. The idea is to look at destination. Uh, it will be really quite a nice outward facing experience. One of the outstanding elements is the flying hot tubs. And these are like martini glasses. They're six meters high and the hot tub is in the top of them. They really will stand out on the pool deck. Just off the pool area will be private cabanas. They're designed to invite you to get lost in the incredible views of the sea. The rooftop garden features treetop sculptures weighing close to a ton each. You'll be able to completely escape in this fantastical outdoor space. I think the rooftop garden is a place that you discover. It's trying to be intimate, but also have a, a central open space that can be used for performance and things. I think it's gonna be my favorite space on board. And I think it's gonna become the place you go to when you want to get away from everything on a cruise liner. And for that reason, it's gonna be very special. The highlight of Celebrity Edge's outward facing vision is the magic carpet. Designed to be the size of a tennis court, this incredible engineering feat will be the world's first cantilevered floating platform. It will travel up the side of the ship to 13 stories above sea level. The magic carpet started as a very simple idea. It was simply a platform which was going to make the tendering process so much better. On the lowest level, the magic carpet will be an extension of the destination gateway. From here, you can board the newly reimagined edge launches. From there, it, it evolved into an incredible viewing platform. This spectacular space will open to several decks and transform into new and exciting venues on each deck it visits. It will afford some of the best views that I think have ever come from a cruise line. October 31st, 2018 was a moment of pride for Celebrity Cruises as the ownership of Edge was officially handed over. Great day. Great day. The momentous occasion was celebrated at the shipyard with the ceremonial raising of the flags over the bow. Coming in. This is the home stretch. There we go. After four years of dedicated and passionate hard work, Celebrity Edge is finally here.
no matter how many times you see projects in virtual reality, nothing quite prepares you for the first time you walk on board. It's always a bit of a nervous moment. And on this ship, I think there are so many things that are beyond revolutionary. And you just have to walk around and take it all in. It's always difficult if you have a whole group of designers designing a ship. When you walk around Edge, there's a lot of different styles, but somehow the overall feeling of Edge comes through. And that, for me, is a really difficult thing to achieve. When you're with a project from the very beginning, you have this idea in your head. And as I have walked around the ship and really taken it all in, it's, it's overwhelming. Kelly Hoppen has a very certain style that we loved, but the one thing that I realized when I walked into the room was just how comfortable they made you feel. And that infinite veranda is much more special than we ever imagined. Working on something for about two years, you have these collective dreams, and there's this moment when you see it all come together and you feel very, very proud. One of the things that I love about this project and the work with celebrity that we've done here is that they had chosen different designers from different cultures, from different backgrounds. That in a way, I think when you walk through all those different spaces, you sense a little bit of the philosophy of each one of those cultures all mixed together. That makes the ship its own world to explore. What I love about the design and the overall look and feel of all the restaurants and bars on the ship is that they're different from one another, but you feel fantastic when you're in each space. And with this company, we're always pushing the envelope, and it's always a challenge, and we're always creating. And to watch everybody work together in a seamless fashion and to buy into it, it is just, it's, it is something magical to behold and to be a part of. Well, having seen the space in operation for the very first time, it's probably one of the more exciting things. You kind of envision what can happen, but when you see the programming that's in the space, and then you see all of the guests' reaction to that, it's, it's mind-blowing. This project is so far ahead of where I think the industry is, it'll take them some time to even try and catch up. And when you come into the spaces on this ship and you experience the whole thing, it's not like you're comparing it to other cruise ships. You know, you're comparing it to any type of experience you might have. And I think that's the thing about it. It's, it's not begging for a comparison to other ships. It's really begging to be compared to any vacation experience. You know, there, there is a phrase, I have to tell you, I've been looking forward to having the opportunity to say, welcome aboard Celebrity Edge. We believe travel and experiencing other cultures enriches us. I am honored to be here to mark its launch and thank Celebrity Cruises for your commitment to supporting girls' education. You see, as I do, that our world's future is linked to ensuring all girls can learn and lead. As it travels around the world, I hope vacationing passengers will feel inspired to learn more about girls' education and use their expertise to create a more equal world for us all. I name this ship Celebrity Edge. Bless her and all who sail on her. Celebrity Edge will open up the world for discerning travelers in a way no other ship has done before. I guarantee you've never seen anything like Celebrity Edge at sea or anywhere. And we're just getting started. The revolution has set sail.